All right, 50 years old don't mean a damn thing to Houston Alexander because he's getting ready to get back in the BKSC ring. Main event matchup Friday, November 18th. Houston, I got to ask you, man. I mean, we've talked about it before, but you just keep going, man. What's what's the secret to this fountain of youth you got going on out there in Omaha, man? No, John, what, what the hell is going on? Why do you keep bringing up 50 years old, man? I'm, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass. Hey, I bring it up because Why I'm you gotta keep reminding? Why you gotta keep reminding me, John? <laughs> Jesus. I'm 44 and I need the inspiration, man. I got six years to oh. be like you. I need I need the inspiration. <laughs> hey man, you hey, you know what's weird is that uh I don't even I don't feel 50, but the fact that we're saying 50 years old and and I and I, and it just runs me all through the my all my life experiences, man, up until now. And it's just weird to, to to think, you know, that I am 50 years old. It's 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 crazy, man. Wow. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Well, your your age doesn't matter one bit when it comes to your performances. That's for sure. Two and zero in BKFC, both of yeah. them first round stoppage. And I mean, I just got to ask, what what do you think has been the key? Because two and zero, two first round stoppages. It, it doesn't matter what the age is. I mean, that's successful. So, what do you think the key has been for you in, in this move to this new sport? You know, John, I think uh, because uh, the sport fits me, you know, and, and it fits my style. And, and and I think, you know, this is how I started off. You know, this is how I started off in life. You know, from the playground, you know, to the underground, to, 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 the, to the big leagues. You know, I started off with these, and now it just seems like I'm ending, you know, my career with these as well. So it, it, it's, a, it's a 360 degree um situation for me because again this is how I started off you know with these hands yeah pretty incredible to see and listen the hands are not just staying busy in the ring i mean you've got a million things going on in your life man you've got so many different things that you take part in to help inspire yeah. to help be a part of the community so I, I just wonder when fight camp comes around do you have to put all that stuff on hold cuz it seems to me like you're still very involved on a daily basis in in a lot of these ventures you know what? Well, I think I think uh, if if I ever stay stagnant, I think I would get bored. You know, because in between all the training, you know, I, I got I got the community things that I do. I you know I got the the, the working things that I do because uh, I just don't want to sit around and think about all oh, say the the fight or this or that. You know, I just like this. I like to move and I like to keep keep the the the, the body flowing. So I just don't like I don't like sitting, man, and I, because. Um, I, I tell people all the time: if you had a Lamborghini uh, sitting in the driveway and you don't you you don't ever drive it, guess what? It's just a Lamborghini sitting in the driveway because eventually it's going to get rusted, the the oil is going to going to going to run dry, the gas going to going to evaporate. You mean you have to move the Lamborghini? So I'm I'm that's how I feel. I got to move the, the, to uh, to keep the, the body flowing. <laughs> I love it. And, and, you know, and it sounds Houston, like a, like an attitude I'm hearing a lot of athletes try to have more is that like fighting is a big part of my life. And obviously it requires yeah. a lot of me to be successful, but it's not who I am. It's not all I am. And, and my entire identity is not just locked up in wins and losses in this fighting environment. Is that yeah. kind of the attitude that, that you've learned to embrace? You know, John, I think I think people are just catching up to something I was already doing. Because even with uh, when I was with uh, you know, different promotions, I um, uh, I was already doing stuff. I was already doing radio. I was already doing you know, I was already doing community things, and I was already uh, I was doing art. I was doing I was already doing all these things before uh, I went to any type of fight promotion. And you're right, uh, fighting is just one aspect of a person's life. Now, like, I'm I'm sure you just don't do podcasts. I'm sure you do this. I'm sure you do that. You know, I think I, uh, I, people should always keep other things going on for themselves to, and, and not stay in, a, stay in a box. Yeah, 100%. Healthy way to approach it. All right, but we do have a fight coming up. I got to yeah, ask you, they, 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 come, they come to you with the name. They say, hey, we got a former BKFC champ for you. More importantly, maybe, a former MMA opponent for you in Joey Beltran. Yeah. So when this was the name that was presented – like I said, former champ, former opponent. What were your initial thoughts? Um, let me see. Oh, sign me up, <laughs> man. You know, uh, at my 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 uh, 
my approach to the fight game does not change. Whoever you guys, whoever you put in front of me, let's go. So you know when I when I saw and it's an ex champion and it's an ex opponent that I've had before that I lost to that I thought wasn't 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 a fair stoppage. Uh, guess what? Sign me up. Does uh, does that add any flavor to me? Is there any of that? I mean, we're talking about a fight from twelve years ago, Houston. But is it still is it still a little bitter in the back of your mind? Like, oh, I gotta man. get that oh, one back. I gotta get that one back. Oh, hey, whatever whatever hair that I have left in the back of my head still <laughs> still still tingles. I'm like, oh man, I, you know that's one of those things. Where any any loss to any any opponent, um, you know, it, it still sits in the back of your mind. But you know, for but I think uh, what happens is when you get the opportunity to redeem yourself, hey man, you might as well take it. And this is one of those opportunities for me. I love it. I love it. a little added flavor to it. And once again, added flavor. I love it. Mwah, the, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle it with Steve. Sprinkle it with Steve. Just, just, there you go. Just sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it. All right. Put the little Parmesan on top of that piece. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, and, hey, and 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 if you need flavor, doing it in Omaha, right? I mean, that's uh, I mean, oh. that's got to be a, a real special part. About it. I mean, headlining in your backyard, pr pretty special night for you. You know, the, the, I don't think it's special. It's scary because you know what? Anytime you put you know all the attention on you, any type of any type of uh, fight fighting order, and all the attentions on you, you're you're the last person. You're the you're the hoorah. Or you're the the you're the, you're the 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 um the final fight of the night, you know that's scary, man. You know because I, I think there's a there's a there's almost like a curse on someone when they got to when they're the headliner because either you got to show and prove or or you got to you got it's got to be a great fight. It can't it can't be a a a, a fight that, that disappoints anyone, no matter whether they're watching it on 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 online or watching it in the, in the arena. Yeah, you know, it's scary to be a headliner. I, I, I never, I, I was the type of guy, even coming up in my career, I wanted to go out there first. I just wanted to get it over with. Let's go. Let's get it down. Let's get down. Let, it, let me, let me do, let me do this. But now, you know, the waiting, the, the waiting kills me. I, I just, I, I, and, and when, when, when that time comes, that the, when it's time to go, I, I it's time to go. But I just, you know, being a headliner is scary, man. I don't care what anybody says. So wild. It, that's the other thing that, that has always intrigued me about combat sports is, right, any of you guys at the highest level, if stuff popped off in an instant, you're clearing the room and it's not a problem. Things are getting handled. <laughs> but when you got to sit around and think about it oh, and you know man. what's coming, that anticipation is something else, isn't it? No, it's, I don't think it's the anticipation. Me, To me, it's just sitting. You know, I know when, when, it, <laughs> when it's time to get down, it's time to get down. But, when, but just sitting, man, nobody likes to sit. You know, it's like it's like being that kid in in kindergarten, and they, they tell you to sit down, and you have to sit down for uh, a, a very long time. Nobody likes to do that. Not even, that, especially when you're an athlete, and all you've done is just move, 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 move. I and be, be, and you're a headliner too in your own own uh, town, home, own hometown. That's scary, man. I Let me be the it. first to admit. It. I don't care what it, what any any top-notch fighter or whomever at any level says it's, it's scary fighting in your hometown or competing in your own town, hometown. Well, listen, here's what I find really interesting about this fight, Houston, because you are number five in the rankings right now at BKFC, right? So really? a really? Win, a win, you are. You're the I, number I, five contender. Hey, man, I did, not, hey, I did not know that until this interview. All right. Well, I'm bringing it to you the number five contenders. So here's what I find interesting, right? Because I'll take as it. you listen, right now, you're right. We go, wow, isn't it amazing that Houston Alexander is 50 years old and he's competing at a high level? You win this, and you're right. I don't think the story can be about that. Now we're starting to talk about is he ready to fight for a title? Is he is he the number one contender? Is he? I mean, are you thinking about that at this at, at this Lord, phase? You could still compete for a championship. I. I've always thought in my head that I can compete at any level. And as long as the body is in, in, in proper motion and, 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 and in proper health and, and ready to go, man, anyone out there can use me in it as an example or any athlete that's, uh, you know, Tom Brady, for instance, that you can't get no higher than Tom Brady. Okay. So, you know, especially competing with some of the, 
the world's best athletes in that on that level. But you know, it's uh, for 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 me to be in this position right now. I'm very blessed to be to be here, and I'm very blessed that that uh, you know, bare knuckle fighting championship allowed me to you know to to actually do this. And uh, shouts out to my man Train, who uh, who is in Omaha. He has a promotion dynasty here in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, where he he promotes uh, um, you know MMA here, and, and and it's one of the last promotions standing in Omaha, Nebraska. And shouts out to him for getting me involved with it, man, because uh, you know, I guess when they decided to come here, they was wondering um, who can we get to to uh, fill these rosters, and when they uh, they called me. I said, you know, that's, that's no problem. I, let me do it. If, I, if I'm in the gym still competing with people half my age and still knocking them off in the in, in the gym, why can't I still do it? So, you know, and, and I don't let anyone tell me what I can and cannot do in life. So the, the, the with this opportunity, man, it, it's, 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 a, it's a good opportunity for me to show people that if you take care of yourself properly and, and – you don't say you don't take no for an answer, you know. Hey, do it, just man, just do it. Because I thought again, I, I believe we had this conversation before. I thought Nike had had the uh, had the worst slogan ever when they said just do it, and when, when it first came out, I was like, ah, that, that, that's that's horrible. That's horrible advertising. And then and when I was uh, training a few people, uh, um, and they, after I saw that. The one thing I told p- people when I was training them to just do it, <laughs> and I was like, "Duh!" <laughs> and I and I thought that was I thought I thought that Nike came up after that moment. I said, "That's brilliant." And so, hey, right now I'm just doing it, man, and I'm I'm glad that I'm physically able to do it because I didn't sustain a lot of uh, injuries in my career. Not anything major. Let me knock on some wood. Not anything major. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, you 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 remain an inspiration, man. That's for sure. I know this is going to be a fantastic fight again. It's Friday, November eighteenth. I guess last question for you. So, I mean, two first round knockouts. I mean, is this a fight that you think you can go do that again against man, an established competitor I, like this, or are you expected a battle? No, I, I I always expect a battle, but when you know, but once you see the 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 way the fight's playing out, man, you know what? He, he, all all I have. Uh, is uh, is those animal instincts? Shout out to my man Joey. I have I I instinctively have animal instincts, and I, I believe when I even when I first started on um, on this world scale, if I if if I was never the pit bull that was being taught how to sit, maybe I would still be still be champion in a, <laughs> in some of in some of these promotion because. I think a lot of, of, uh, of, especially with combat sports, you 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 do have the the taught ability, but it's that ability to to just go out there and just wild out and just be ferocious and be mean and just to be Mike Tyson. So in this instant, I'm just you know I'm just having fun, which which which, which makes it even makes me even more dangerous. But I'm just having fun. You know, I'm having fun. This. this Bare knuckle fighting championship, bare, doing bare knuckle is easy to me. This is easy. You know, this is this is you know, no kicks, no knees, no takedowns, no 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 elbows. It's mano y mano. This shit is easy to me, man. So so, I, what else can I say? I, I I am blessed to be in this situation where I'm a main card in my my own home city, and 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 I'm and I'm able to be at this age competing at a high level. So I'm just going, I'm just having fun. Well, I wish you the best of luck. It's going to be a great matchup Friday, November 18th on the BKC. Best of luck. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk again soon because I know you're not hanging up the gloves anytime soon. No, nah, man, you know, and as long as I'm able to fight and, 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 and let's make it clear that if I was not able to compete at a high level, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't put myself in harm's way. Let's, 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 let's be real with it. I wouldn't put my health self in harm's way to where I got hurt. You know, I got I got doctors that tell me that that I'm, I'm still in pretty good shape. So that, let's yeah, let's let's get that out first first and foremost out the way. I'm I, I'm 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 not in bad shape to be doing this at, at a high level. So also shouts out to you, man. Shouts out to to Bare Knuckle uh, Fighting Championship Championship Rotellas 
uh, West Omaha Cryotherapy, uh, Soldier Sports. You know, you know, of course they they held me down. Uh, East St. Louis, Illinois, and all my people down there, all the people that that are representing uh, me and 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 all over the world. Because I'm getting it's it's weird, John. I'm still getting. Uh, you know, DMs from people all over the world say how much I'm, I, I've, I've inspired them, you know, on, on any type of fight level. And, I, yeah, and I've kept, I, of course you get the haters. I'm still getting hated on for the Kimbo fight that I still think I won. <laughs> because, you know, because, because John, if you know, if you know MMA, you know, back then, I don't, I don't think they were, they were, they were uh, counting kicks like how they're counting now. You know, they, you know, they don't think they had the same type of judging back then as they do now. But, but you know, I, but, but shouts out to everybody. Let's be honest. They just, they just wanted you to get knocked out, bro. If you don't walk forward yeah. and just let yourself get knocked out, they'd have given you like a 10 fight deal. Nah, you know, that's funny. They, and, and no, I did not get knocked <laughs> out. And no, he almost got knocked out. <laughs> but, but, you know, a rest in peace to Kimbo. And, and, and again, big shouts out to everybody that support me. Shouts out to YouTube. So. Hey, let's get there. Let's go. Joey, Joey, let's, let's give these people a good show, man.